Why do we need HIPAA? You know, isn't this already, isn't this information already protected by data breach notifications? Why did we need the 2009 SEC health breach notification rule? Shouldn't any time there's a breach of data, you have to send data breach notification requirements with respect to medical information? And the answer to that is no. So as of 2009, and even as of 2023, medical information in its, in its own right is not protected. So if, even if you have someone's name and you have their address and you, they have surgery, they've had a surgery for something, or they have chronic a chronic condition, or they have asthma, or they have something that's not very nice to, to have, that's not protected. It's only protected in 15 states. And that's where these gaps come in. States have been very slow in defining medical information or health information as protected information and covered under state data breach, data breach notification statute. Meaning if there is a breach of medical information, if you weren't covered by HIPAA, no one even knew about it. Meaning someone's health information in a non-HIPAA covered entity could be disclosed or breached and because it didn't contain maybe a social security number or financial information or something like that that was otherwise covered by data breach notification statutes, you'd never know that there was a breach.